guys welcome back today's topic is gonna be how I get around um, otherwise known as no access no problem um, basically what hap what happened is if I can find somebody to stay with my kids my husband will take me. Um, if not, the kids go with us. Or somebody goes with me. There have been a few times that my insurance has paid for a transportation company to come and get me. To go to a couple of my back from pump, pump appointments. Which, if you've been on my blog for a while... You would, you know that backlifting pumps can be deadly if not refilled on time or refilled at all. You can't miss one of those or you will most certainly um, have really bad withdrawal and, and probably if you get there in time you can make it through it but if not you know, you're basically, you're, you're, you're gone if you don't fill it. So, there have been a couple times that we've used insurance, transportation. I'm going to talk about that now. Um, one of the times we used transportation, my newborn daughter was like four months old and they dropped us off okay we got there okay even though it looked like the driver was falling asleep and we're done with the appointment in an hour um it was one of my quickest appointments with my neurologist for the refill and the tune-up of the pump which is basically just telling the pump yeah, I see you got ice cream. Sorry, Dada went and got us some ice cream to eat for tonight. Because if you look at my lips, my lips are severely trapped. I had blood all over my mouth last night. That was a fun time. Um, so, I wanted something cold to kind of help the burning of my lips. But anyways, with the transportation, they got us there in time. We were done with my appointment within an hour, which was at 12.30, I think my appointment was. You guys, we did not get out of this doctor's office till almost 5 o'clock at night. That's when they sent the driver back. And that was after me calling four different times. We finally sent a different driver back out with my four-month-old wanting a bottle because we had used all our bottles that we had brought with us because we weren't going to be there for very long, or so we thought. So, if you guys hear sirens, there's an ambulance taking a person to the hospital. So, good luck to them, and I hope they get their issues sorted out. Um... But pretty much, we don't use, we try not to use the entrance transportation. Um, there is one company we won't allow to come pick me up, but I can't request a certain company. Um, it's all what the insurance gives us. So, with that being said, we try to always take our cars. Excuse me. We try to always take our car to appointments so that we can get out of there in a timely manner. Because now we not only do we have one kid who's four years old and gets hungry, we have a one and a half year old. He'll be two in June. That gets hungry as well and one smoke in his sippy cup and and you know it's just so it's easier for us to take our car 
Now, with that being said, sometimes there's bumps in the road, so like, now our car is acting up, and really my family is, is busy, so my hope is completely gone out the window to even go to the doctor for um, whatever is wrong with me now. So, but we'll get there. We'll get it done. Um, they got me an appointment for the first. So, I'm just going to keep that and see. Um, see what they say. Although, I did get some pressure relieved off my ears last night by taking, like, a nasal decongestion. And there was a wet spot on my pillow from fluid coming out of my ear. It was clear fluid, but water was dripping out of my ears due to it all being released and I can hear it a lot better. As you can see, I'm just really tired. It's only 8.42 and heck, I got up at 2 something. So I really don't know why I'm this tired. Like my husband pointed out last night, it could be seasonal allergies. A really bad case of allergies can do a number on your body. Um, I don't drink a lot of water, so that could be doing it. So I'm going to drink some water and see if I wake up. And um, There's just a lot of conditions that it could be. But I'm pretty much thinking in one year I have a ruptured eardrum and the other is just seasonal allergies because it does not feel bad at all. I've just been really sleepy. Um, I'm trying to make, make vlogs that are interesting and draw your guys' attention. I know I'm boring, I'm sorry. Um, more vlogs with my husband or the, the disembodied voice may happen sooner or later. It depends on, you know, his schedule with things. And we'll have the cooking video to you the beginning of June, middle of June, somewhere around there. Should be pretty comical, so make sure you stick around for that. Um, otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. And... If you like this video, click subscribe on my channel page. Make sure you click the little bell so you get notified of every little video I do. Um, give it a what? Give it a thumbs up or thumbs down, you know, whatever. It's your choice. Um, but, uh, and leave me a comment. I make sure to respond to your comments so leave me a comment get some conversation going and i'll see you in the next video stay beautiful guys bye